And here's a breakdown of Central Florida counties. Every county saw an increase in cases since last night, except Flagler County. Orange County passed the 500 mark today, and Volusia County hit 100 cases. All these numbers are expected to increase again when new numbers are released around 6 tonight. And with Orange County having the most cases in Central Florida, health officials are pinpointing hot spots around the county. Hot spots are areas seeing more positive cases compared to other areas. Yesterday, Orange County leaders revealed this map showing how many cases are reported in each zip code. New 6's Lewis Bolden is looking into what this all really means. He joins us now live. Lewis. Well, Ginger, county officials say those hot spots give them information. It shows them where the most cases are, and that allows them to watch the virus as it grows across the county, and then they might have to make adjustments. They could adjust their guidelines for testing, but they warn these numbers are fluid, and what's not a hot spot today could be tomorrow. Zip code 32822 is clearly defined here using Google Maps. On the county's so-called heat map, it is the zip code with 25 known cases of coronavirus, the most cases in Orange County. Yeah, a little surprised that, that we were in the hot spot. Carmelo Siaka is the general manager of Brooklyn's Pizza on Pershing in East Orange County, in the hot zone. Being in one of the hot spots um, actually, you know, makes me think a little bit about you know, do we have to take any extra precautions? Siaka has already taken precautions at his business. Customers' orders are delivered to their vehicles, and the door handle and the rest of the store are sanitized regularly. He said hearing that he is in the zip code with the highest number of cases was just a reminder. We're taking a number of precautions uh, with uh, color-coded gloves. Timers go in every 15 minutes for hand washing and sanitizing the store. In a press conference Wednesday, Dr. Raul Pino says knowing exactly where the cases are currently gives the county the ability to watch how the virus is growing and adjust accordingly. What you can do with that, you can do targeted testing, you can do targeted messaging, you also can advertise and do very specific things that are in a specific, uh, that responding to the specific needs of those areas. Siaka says he is grateful for the information. You know, we're all going to get through this. I have no doubts. Um, and, you know, we just have to take it one day at a time. Now, keep in mind, county officials expect Orange County to peak around the end of April, the beginning of May, so those numbers will continue to rise. Reporting live at the County Administration Building, I'm Lewis Bolden, getting results, News 6.